Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I've got something very cool to show you today. I uh, I made a, I think, very, very compact four digit pin lock. Um, it uses the same technology as we talked about in the previous video, which was uh, called the red coder, how you can decode signal length into different outputs. So um, uh, I've got a numpad input, 10 buttons, and um, this is basically a four pin lock. So there I entered the first one in the RS knowledge array in the back, and then the second one, and the third number, and then finally the fourth number, and it gives an output. So this is a extremely compact four, four digit pin lock. And has a lot of nice features. For instance, um, I could I could do every number from zero 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 um, zero to nine 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 nine, so it accounts for ten ten thousand different combinations. And um, the way it resets is really nice. Like some RS knowledge is when you enter the first digit, I mean it will light up, and if you enter the same digit, it will uh, you know stay at the same input. But this one actually um, fixes that. So um, you really have to, from the start, get all of them in, in a row, like uh, all the correct correct digits. Then, um, yeah, the way we, we hooked up the numpad is actually, or the, we, uh, the way I hooked up the numpad is actually uh, using the signal length thing. So I'm basically splitting um, six buttons into the right side and four buttons into the other side and uh, by using torches and um, repeaters you can sort of set the, the combination the code that will open the door um, so some crazy wiring going on here um, especially the RS Norledge is um, has no air blocks pretty much none um, and yeah it's it works though it's uh, it's very nice and um, I mean this looks Intimidating in a way, I guess, but seeing as it's um, 5 by 11 by 23, actually not that horrible to possibly do a tutorial on. Um, but it's sort of, I'm like, I'll be honest, um, doing tutorials not one of my favorite activities when it comes to doing videos like this. But if you guys really, really want me to, um, then uh, I'd uh, have no choice and do it. So, yeah, if you guys like this, be sure to leave a like. I mean, that's the way you can tell me that you like this. And, um, yeah, you can customize the code. I'll, obviously, in the tutorial, I'd show you how. I'll uh, leave, uh, I'm leaving a schematic in the description uh, and a world file to download. So you can already use it if you want, but if you want to, you know, learn how it works and be able to build this yourself, then uh, yeah, I guess you sort of have to stay tuned and see when it gets released. Um, so yeah, like always, if you're new to my channel, I'm Cube Hamster, do Redstone videos, go check out my channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.